Hi everyone, my name is Neil, I'm the creator of Alfie's Animal Tales and this is my slightly different take on the 12 days of Christmas. I've called the tale Pat the Lonely Partridge and I hope you enjoy it. It's the day after the 12th day of Christmas and Pat, she's feeling quite glum, all alone on a branch of a pear tree with not a friend or a pal or a chum. Not a care in the world just a day ago, how she'd laughed and she'd talked and she'd sang. But everything changed when the clock had struck twelve and the pet shop door bell, it went clang. Oh no, our Pat thought, it's that man again. What can he be wanting this time? The man gave a cough just to clear his throat, then read from his list, line by line. The old pet shop owner stood smiling, and though rubbing his hands with delight, he was unable to hear himself thinking, despite listening with all of his might. The noise from the street, it was deafening, from the cheering, excitable crowd, and whilst eleven proud pipers were piping, twelve drummers were drumming out loud. Pat sat and she looked out the window as nine dancing ladies went by. And she smiled at the look on the faces of ten lords who were leaping so high. But not everyone felt so happy. For eight milky maids all wore frowns. They sat with their arms crossed and folded on buckets all turned upside down. Oh dear, said the man in the pet shop, we'd better do something and now. I hope you'll be able to help me and find me a fine milking cow. You're in luck, said the pleased pet shop owner. Cause soon they'll have no need to mope. He returned in a couple of minutes with a cow on the end of a rope. He took it outside to the milkmaids and their smiles reappeared in a flash. And once they were happily milking, he returned to the shop in a dash. Now that we've that problem sorted, said the man with the list in his hand, You'd better see if you can help me with everything else that I've planned. For eleven days now I've been trying to capture my one true love's heart. I just hope that the twelve drummers drumming will mean that our romance can start. I've five more gold rings in my pocket, but I need you to help me once more. Calling birds. They are one of her favourites. I'm thinking of sending her four. And it's seven snow white swans that I'm wanting. As for geese, I'll be needing one less. Three French hens are all I can manage. They're not my favourites, I have to confess. Now the next things are very important to my true love and also to me. It's two turtle doves that I'm needing, not five, and not four, and not three. The pet shop proprietor gathered all of the things on his list. The two turtle doves they were cooing, while six laying geese honked and hissed. The seven swans looked oh so regal, their feathers all shiny and white. The four calling birds they were calling, whilst the French hens were having a fight. The pet shop was looking quite empty, with hardly a thing on the shelves. Only two pretty birds in the window, one named Pat and the other named Alf. Oh dear, i nearly forgotten. What would my true love think of me? If I forgot to present her a partridge, complete with its own little tree. What, what do you think I should give her? 
They both look so splendid, you see. And all of the time he was thinking, Pat silently screamed, Please choose me. But the man was unable to hear her, and Pat knew she'd be left on the shelf. The moment the man began pointing, not at her, but directly at Alf. So that's why there's nobody with her, and that's why Pat's feeling downbeat. But just when she's verging on crying, she hears lots of noise from the street. The noise, it grew louder and louder, and then there's a knock on the door. The old pet shop owner comes running, his feet hardly touching the floor. The noise, it became even louder when the door it was opened at last. The man with the list stood before him, looking sad and a little downcast. And there, in the street all around him, were all of the creatures he'd bought. Dozens of geese all were honking, whilst thirty French hens they all fought. My true love says she never loved me. She says I've been somehow misled. And whilst I'm returning her presence, she's loving a drummer instead. There's no need to return my money, but please say you'll take them from me. The geese, they're driving me crazy. And the swans, they all hate me, you see. After minutes more begging and pleading, the shop owner, he told him to stop and agreeing to what he was asking, he herded them into the shop. Pat couldn't believe what was happening as the moments before empty shop was suddenly filled to the rafters with animals talking non-stop. And suddenly, Pat, she was smiling as she spotted Alf come through the door with Alf once more sitting beside her. Pat didn't feel lonely no more. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tale of Pat the Lonely Partridge. And if you want to read or listen to more of Alfie's animal tales, then please pay a visit to Alfie's website at www.alfiesanimaltales.com. I hope to see you again soon, but for now, goodbye.